welcome back, this is the Lady Medina here, and today we're starting a new series on the channel called I Suck at Pokemon. And, um, I play a lot of Pokemon Showdown. Um, my boyfriend and I are very much into competitive Pokemon. He's way, way better than I am at it. Um, he's been playing Pokemon for years, so, you know, whatever. But, I just got into it not too long ago, and I've always liked Pokemon, but I never got into the competitive side of it, which I didn't even know about before him. Um, but if you actually look up some YouTubers like Shady Penguin or The King Nappy, you might find out that Pokemon is a lot more serious than we think. It's not just cute Pokemon like Pikachu. It's actually a lot of really, really intense, smart, strategy-based battling between people. And there's even competitions and tournaments for it, like DGC, which is by Nintendo. So, yeah. But, um, I really enjoy playing Pokemon Showdown more than I enjoy playing the real Pokemon games. Now, Pokemon Showdown is not by, and it's not a game created by Game Freak or Nintendo. It's really um, just a fan-made game by a group of people or a community called Smogon, um, which kind of creates a basis for um, what's banned and what's not banned and, you know, their own regulations for competitive battling in Pokemon. <laughs> it's a lot more serious than what you probably think um and it's really hard so i'm just gonna try it out and i'm going to play some showdown and show you guys uh for anyone that's not familiar with competitive pokemon i'm gonna show you guys how competitive it can be and how much thought needs to be put into it it's freaking insane and um at the same time just for anyone that is familiar with the competitive scene or with pokemon in general um, just so that you can see me being a total noob, because it's funny. Maybe I'll get better as this series goes on. Okay, so, I am signed in, and we're going to do a random battle. Yes, that is what I plan on doing, random battles. I suck at team making, I suck at team building, so we're doing random battles. Okay, so we are here with four. Okay, I was not expecting that. I usually play Showdown on my phone, and the sounds are never there, so I was not expecting that. Okay, so we have a Quillfish, and we are going to get the Torterra. Now, we are weak to Torterra because we are water type. So, um, we have Jellicence. Who has Ice Beam? That's my question. Jesus Christ, my mouse is acting retarded. Jellicent has Ice Beam. Perfect. Okay, so let's go for Jellicent. And let's... You know what I didn't think about? You know what I didn't think about? The fact that Jellicent is a water type. Yeah, and I would get freaking wrecked. Okay. Um, but anyways, Rayquaza, honestly, my mic, my mic, my, not my mic, my mouse is acting like it has a disorder. Um, Gliscor? Earthquake? No, no, Torterra is not weak to earth Earthquake, I wish, but I can Toxic it, maybe, Toxic? Could have stealth rocked. Um, I don't know, but yeah. So I'm trying to look for my for like another mouse to use, like a real mouse, because I'm using a laptop mouse and it's acting all dumb. Because this is a tablet, two in one laptop. So it, I don't know why. If do all two in one laptops do this, where if you use a touch screen, the the mouse itself acts ridiculous. So you're gonna toxic him. And let's drop some stealth rocks before I die. Yeah, he's gonna stone edge me again. And I do have poison heal, poison heal glass score. Poison heal means that I get recovery, I recover HP because I'm half toxic on myself. But anyways, we are going to. What should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Um, knock off, I guess. Just kill it off. And then we're gonna go to the next Mon. Hopefully, Poison Heal Gliscor is one of my least favorite Pokemon used against me. But it is very, very good. It's ridiculous. Um, Poison Heal Gliscor is so good because you constantly get recovery um, from, you know, that Toxic Orb. And on top of that, you are completely immune to Earthquake. And also, from a noob like me, I used to think Gliscor was a poison type, and it's not. It's actually a ground flying type. So, 
That's confusing. Um, but yeah, completely immune to earthquake. And um, really hard to get through. It's, it's kind of an asshole. But we're going to try to do what we can. Spinda is a normal type. So there's really not much we can do. Um, it has, doesn't really have anything that could stop this earthquake. How are his defenses? There's defenses. Oh. You see. Um. No. <laughs> um. What was I going to say? On the mobile version of this game, you get to see all the stats. But this one only shows you the speed. So I guess you kind of have to think about the stats and know them by heart and stuff. Also, whoever we're playing against said, LOL, the spin to animation. Oh, it's hilarious. Oh, it's hilarious. But anyways, we are going to Earthquake. Let's see what happens. Earthquake does about half. Um, superpower does not do anything to me. Uh, it did give it an attack, an attack boost and a defense boost. But fuck it. I was trying to keep this series PG and I totally suck at it. I cannot do anything PG. I just suck. Alright, so Return almost killed me. Wow, I was not expecting that. But it looks like the recoil from Return Actually, no. It's not recoil. It's life orb damage. Life orb damage uh, kills it off. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And if you don't know, life orb is an item which allows you to um Whoa, Elipur, you took a lot of damage from the stuff stuff box. But Life Orb um, makes your attack stronger, but takes off 10% of your health every time you use an attack. So, yeah. So Pelipper is a flying type. Can't hit him with Earthquake. I can Toxic his ass, though. This is Toxic. Let's be that guy. Am I going to be faster? Probably, but I'm not sure. So we'll see how fast Pelipper is. Okay. Pelipper is not fast at all. It's gonna kill off my Glide score, but whatever. We have, we actually only have four other Pokemon left. So does he, so that's good. That's a good sign. Okay, what do I have against Pelipper? I have a Request <laughs> and have a Giratina, which is insane, absolutely insane. Okay, my, my mouse isn't acting as dumb anymore, so thank God. A Giratina with Ghost Dragon. I don't know what this Giratina can do to it, though. I switched into it by accident. I didn't even mean to. I was just looking at its information. But anyway. Alright. So. My throat is itching so bad. Um. Okay. I guess a Shadow Ball. Pelipper is a Water Flying. So you can definitely hit that. A shadow ball. Ooh, toxic should take you. Should take that out. No. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So it actually lost life orb damage and the toxic damage. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. So we got one more mon down and three more to go. So I think it's pretty unfair for me because I do have a, um, a Giratina and a Rayquaza. So that's kind of rude, but whatever. Um, dual Blade. What do we have for a Dual Blade? You are a Steel Ghost type, so Ghost Shadow Ball will definitely hit you like a rock. And you Shadow Clawed. But now I know that I outspeed you, so Shadow Ball should kill you off. Hopefully. Yeah, that Shadow Claw did a lot though. So there goes Dual Blade, and now we have two more to go. We have, drum roll please, Scizor. Scizor, that sounds like a problem. Okay, what do I do with a Scizor? Bug Steel. We have Will-O-Wisp. That should be good. We can burn him. Um, Scizor is probably fast, especially Mega Scizor, because obviously this guy is going to Mega, most likely. Um. Your speed is 141, and I can't see your speed for some reason. Okay, there it is. Um, your speed is 174, so they could be more um, faster than us, but we'll see. We'll see now. It really depends on how much investment Scizor has. Okay, so Giratina is faster, and it's funny that uh, Mega Scizor just Swords Dance on us because we just burned him. So really, that that Swords Dance did not matter at all. Um, I say we Shadow Ball. 
Fuck it. Damn it, I'm trying to keep this PG and it's just not working out. I think. Okay, so you're probably gonna kill me. Oh no, you're gonna baton pass. Oh boy. To the Malamar. F my life. This sucks. Oh my goodness. Malamar. You're a dark type. Pure dark type. I thought Malamar was dark psychic. It is dark psychic. I'm not crazy. Um. Should we dragon tail? How fast is Malamar? 165. Yeah, I don't know. Let's dragon tail. Let's see if, if we can dragon tail. Nope. Knock off and killed me. So that sucks. And it has leftovers. Okay. Do we pull out the Rayquaza though? Do we? What does Quillfish have? Um, not much. Taunt, Waterfall. Okay, I guess we're going for that. Um, um, oh, it's contrary on top of that. So, our Intimidate actually made it better. Ugh, okay. We're gonna Waterfall. Let's go for Waterfall. Let's do it. Waterfall, Waterfall, Waterfall. I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure this guy's gonna sweep us with his mouth arm. Sorry for being a Debbie Downer, but that's how I feel right now. God dang it. Where's my phone? And wow. Quillfish living on one. Thanks, Quillfish. And doing barely anything to Malamar. <sighs> Definitely Malamar hit us first. Pretty sure. No, actually, I hit first. So I should be able to get it to, like, close to half. Which can really help if I bring in Rayquaza and then just kill it off completely. Hopefully. Yeah. It's at 53%, so... That could be a good sign. Um, it's at 60 now because of leftovers, but... Okay, let's, let's bring out the Rayquaza. Whatever. Airlock. Mega, Ray Mega Rayquaza. Is it Mega Rayquaza? No, it's not. What are you holding? Lumberry. I don't know what that does. I forgot what that does. I know a lot of people use it, but I don't know what it does. Okay. I'm gonna go straight for the Draco Meteor. This thing has a lot of speed, doesn't it? Not really. Should I go straight for the Draco Meteor? I think so. Let's go for the Draco Meteor. Oh, I killed it. Thank Jesus. Okay. It looks like we won this. It looks like we did win this. It did bring down my special attack, but it looks like we won this. Thankfully. I got a little scared with that Malamar. I mean, in the beginning, I was like so sure of myself and so confident, and then I just lost it. Oh, Thor said, damn. Yeah. Sorry. I had a Rayquaza just chill in there. Um... Scizor! I'm sorry. Sorry. But you're gonna be get Draco Meteor. Or Earthquake. Whichever one works. Yep, Earthquake did the trick. And I have one. GG smiley face to you, sir. If I can only find this little thingy. That thing. Okay, so yeah, that was my first battle. I actually made myself look really good. Really good. Maybe. Maybe a lot of Maybe the more competitive people would look at this and be like, oh my god, what a noob. But to the less competitive people, I probably look like a G. But I don't know. Um, thank you for watching. I, I was going to do multiple battles, but this was actually longer than I thought. Or I don't know. It's not that it's longer than I thought. It's just that, I don't know. I think one battle is good enough. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys for the next episode of I Suck at Pokemon.